fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 9th of February 2023. Um, this is the Guardian hard level Sudoku Puzzle which I shall get to in just a sec. Um, before I give you a, a short story. <laughs> um, when I started this channel, I, the first couple of months, nobody visited at all. Now, right now, it has just a very small uh, number of subscribers to the channel. Uh, if you've never, if you haven't subscribed and you've watched one video, please subscribe. Even if this is your first video, just do me a favor and subscribe. It's very difficult to uh, build subscribers. There are various ways of uh, trying to find new subscribers. One thing you can do is to uh, try to find subscribers on a, on a different. Um, um, platform in particular Twitter used to be one way of doing it now I stopped using Twitter several months ago um, but the account is still there uh, it has the same name as this channel Zen and the Art of the Guardian Stoke puzzle um, and um, <laughs> I got a couple of thousand followers over there I think I, I guess I don't suppose anything's happened since I haven't posted for months and months not anyone have gathered anymore um, couple of thousand like um, kind of similar to what I've got here I guess a couple of thousand maybe more on Twitter than on on here uh, but in all that time I only managed to get one follower that I thought was uh, a well-known person quite a famous person now, I have no idea if he actually comes and watches the Sudoku games or if he just uh, kind of followed my political rants on um, uh, Twitter uh, but <laughs> that person was Roger Waters uh, ex um, Pink Floyd member and uh, interesting person and uh, also left wing uh, um, politi uh, with left wing political ideas and uh, <laughs> um, I have to say that I have been rather I haven't um, communicated with him really apart from like a couple of uh, hellos type of thing that I did earlier on but I have to say that I uh, do not agree with his stance. Uh, yesterday, um, apparently, he spoke in front of the United Nations on behalf of Russia, kind of. Uh, well, to give his uh, stance and say uh, that he did state that he believed that the Russian invasion was illegal, but he also uh, kind of stated that it was not unprovoked. And I think this is wrong. And I, um, I'm not an expert on Ukraine and Russia, but I follow. Uh, some people who are, in particular Vlad Vexler, a philosopher. I think you should really, everybody should go to watch his channel, Vlad Vexler. A nuanced, wonderful um, philosopher uh, who has, who will explain things in great detail and in a very, um, just a, a great way. I don't know what to say about him really, but he's really an excellent, uh, ex a person who can explain things very well when it comes to Russia. All things Russia and all things Putin. Now, the point is that we have to separate Putin from uh, the Russian people and what Putin has done. Now, the trouble with the left is, and I am part of the left, I consider, the trouble with many people on the left uh, is that they, I think they still have this vision of Soviet of a Soviet society, which was never a very good one anyway. But there, there's some harking back, I think, you know, because the West was so bad and so you know did everything it could to uh, uh, um, attack any kind of uh, socialist country that emerged um, and and yes that's true they, it, that means that everything has to be anti-western immediately you know ev everything that the west does is automatically bad uh, one other person I've been rather disappointed with is Noam Chomsky who is an incredibly brilliant thinker and you know has often comes up with uh, great insights and uh, ways of thought that are very interesting but uh, on this issue this Ukraine issue I, I can't agree because he also he did the same thing he also said yes uh, the invasion was illegal but you know it's a both sides thing and I think this is not a both sides thing this is something where Putin took, was taking advantage for personal political gain at home in Russia uh, you know, it's a way of securing up ensuring his own power. And uh, there's nothing socialist about Russia, so the people on the left should not be uh, defending Russia in any way. I don't think it's that they're doing that. I think it's just that they hate the West so much. And this is not the right way of thinking about things. So um, if by any chance Roger Waters is watching this video, and I, I doubt it, but it, uh, he is on my Twitter feed, and if he is watching this, 
I'm sorry, Roger, I can't agree with you this time, but I do respect many of your political views on this one. I'm afraid we'll have to agree to disagree. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku from The Guardian. Um, I was busy chatting there and not busy looking at the screen, but I did see something. Now I've lost it again. What did I notice very quickly? And it's gone. Oh, yeah, I know I noticed nines like this. So let's start with a nine in that square there, shall we? And there's something else. The two blocking across there and the two going down there will give me a two here and therefore going back in this direction. And this direction means that that will have to be our two there. We can take that two a bit further. Let's go down to the bottom of the screen give ourselves a two there and why not why not let's go all the way um, to the two there by the way I still love Pink Floyd's uh, music <laughs> uh, with or without <laughs> uh, Roger Waters uh, why uh, do I not have the final digit two uh, my, do I not have oh I don't have one because there's still one to get up here that's why that's better right I almost missed one uh, since we're in that block up there, I can now see the 8s blocking across there. That's going to give me an 8 up there. Um... Do we see? Well, we see our one blocking up here. So that means one is in one of those two squares blocking across here and then a one up here. That is going to give us a one up there. Now, remember, one blocks across here, but we also have one in one of those squares. So that can't be one. We have our one down here. That will give us a one there. Let's go down and down and across like so to give us a one there. And one up. And up here and across there, that will give us one like so. And that's about it, because I think we'll have a little square of ones like that. Uh, we have four blocking down here and here. So that means fours have to be in one of those squares. So we'll go across like that. That will give us the four there. And in this square here, we will have a five to finish the row. Five blocking up and up, but puts a five into that square there. Um, I think I'm going to uh, have a, a quick uh, ones we can't do. I'm going to have a quick look through now because uh, I don't see anything obvious. Okay, we've got sevens across here, and there's one down there, so that give me a seven in that square there.
nine up here and one across there so oh no I was about to tell you something untrue never good never a good thing to do Okay, I see four blocking this square, four blocking this square, and four blocking this square. So that will give me a four there. Now the four goes up and up and across there. So get ourselves another four there. Um, by the way, if you are looking for what's left with fours, it's definitely in those squares there and here like this, which is very symmetrical. Um, okay, we have a one blocking here. Or oh, let's do it like this. One across here, one across here, and one up there. It might be easier to see. One down, or one up, or one in there. That's the final digit, one. seven blocks both of those squares we need a seven in that column there then so seven across there gives us a seven in that square there seven across here seven up there that puts a seven into that square we know that the four blocks here so that'll be a four and therefore the missing digit here will be a six uh, there's one missing at the end here I think that's a nine isn't it okay nine down here nine down here that's a nine in that square there nine across here and down here so we can place a nine there um, six and eight block down here that's going to put six and eight into those squares there and leaving us with a three there and the last digit down here will be a four Uh, right, I can definitely get this number here, can't I? Uh, what's missing from up here? We don't yet have three and we don't have six. Well, we've got six blocking up there. So there's the six, there's the three. And this one I was sure I could get, which is in fact a five. And now we're just one number missing here. I think that's an eight. So in we go with the eight. That's good. Eight blocks across here. Here's the eight. Here's the six. That's going to give us a six down here. Um, six blocking down here and six across here so there's the six last number to place in this column I think is a five uh, we also have five blocking there so I'll give me a five there five across here across here and down these columns means we can place a five there as well last number to get here is a seven uh, seven across here and up and down here uh, that's the final digit seven. Uh, what's missing over here? Three and eight. Uh, okay, not sure about that yet. Missing up here is three and six, I guess. Not sure. Oh, here we go. There's just one empty square there. That's the one I should be looking at, isn't it? Um, I think 
you are a six. Come on, you are. Okay, thank you for being a six. Six across here and across here. We'll put a six into that square. The six blocking up gives us a six there. And this will be a three as mentioned before. Um, we have eight blocking down here and down here. So that will be our eight. This then can't be an eight. Eight must go here. Eight blocks across here. Eight goes there. Three is our missing number here. Three we also need for this block. And a three blocks down here, placing a three in that square. Blocking up there puts a three there. And four will be the last number to finish today's grid from the Guardian. Not particularly hard, hard level, but as is the usual, I think, from the Guardian. So that's about it. Um, and uh, we do wish and hope that peace comes soon to Ukraine, of course. But uh, we have to be aware that Putin's ambitions are very Hitler-esque, I believe. Uh, the man is uh, quite deranged in many ways. That's it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.